I'm Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Mullinax. I'm the commander of the Army ROTC here at Clemson University. And we were asked by uh, Coach Smith to come out and work on the mental and physical toughness for the Lady Tigers. So we've set up uh, about six sessions of about 30 minutes of physically demanding uh, training. It's incorporating Army training, so it's a lot different than what the, uh, these basketball players have probably seen. And then we normally do a mental type challenge to focus on their mental agility and how well they can really think, maybe somewhat think under pressure, but look at things in a different way. I've seen a good improvement on their uh, ability to be able to do the, the exercises, their motivation to want to do them. Um, this morning we, we had them down on the grass and the wet grass crawling, and that's not something that they definitely would like to do. But as an Army soldier, we, we try to teach them some of the Army techniques that that life isn't all fun and it's not all dry and, and easy, but uh, sometimes you got to work through that that uh, toughness of being wet, being cold, or whatever, and, uh, and accomplish the mission that you've been given. I've definitely seen several of them uh, come forward as leaders. If we don't appoint a leader over a certain event or exercise, there's automatically a few that tend to rise to the front. And a lot of that is because they're able to vocally step forward, state their opinion, and just take charge and, uh, and take control of the situation and say, hey, this is what we need to do, and, here's, and start directing people. And that's really what a leader is, is somebody that's willing to take charge and then start telling others what to do to be able to accomplish the mission.